Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about serving static files using Express. Now, what do I mean by a static file? I mean your HTML files, CSS, client-side JavaScript, images, videos, stuff like that. So to get started, we're just going to require a path module. And it's basically a utility module that deals with paths just to make our lives a little bit easier. And within here, if I go down here, I can say app.use. Now use, whenever you see app.use, it means that I'm using middleware. The first argument is going to be the alias for our static folder. So for example, if I was to hit control B, you can see that I have a static folder here. And what I want to do is give this static folder an alias. I don't want people outside of my server to know that this folder is called static. But let's take a look inside of it. We have an index.html. We have example.js. And we have a main.css file just for an, an example. So now if I close that, control B, I'm going to call it public. That's going to be the alias for my static folder. The second argument is going to be a middleware function. So I'm going to use a convenience method that express provides us. So I could say express dot static. And then I'm going to say path dot join. I'm going to say dir name, which stands for directory name. Now, dir name is a string, and this is going to give us where app.js is. So if we take a look by pressing control B, it's going to give us where app.js is located. Now I want to go inside to the static folder because this is where all my static assets are. So if I hit control B again, We'll pass in as a second argument, the name of the folder static. So I'm just going to end this. Put a colon there. It says there's some error and I'm missing a parentheses. So now here, instead of just saying hello world, let's actually send a file. So I'm just going to remove this. Say res.send file. And we're going to use our path module again to make things easier. I'm going to say path.join. We're going to give it the directory name that we're currently in. We're going to go inside the static folder. And then I want to serve the HTML file. So the HTML file is called index.html. So now if I was to save this, Go down here, type node app. Let's go over to Chrome. Now we're going to go up here, type localhost 3000. And there you go. You can see our static HTML file has been served. If I type F12, let's take a look at the source real quick. I can actually see it. And you can see within our HTML file, that we're using public. Now remember, we don't actually have a folder called public. We have a folder called static. But to the client side, it's called public. And this main.css file. Now this main.css file is working because you can see that our h1 tag is red. And now if we go back down here, you can see public, JS, and our example.js. And if I go to console, you can see that I printed out onto the console testing client side. So that's basically the basics of serving static files using Express. Now you can use this to use images and videos and it'll be the same exact process.